Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a scatter chart. Now a scatter chart is also called an XY chart or a scatter XY chart. Now, what it's used to do is it's used to look at a correlation between uh, one variable and another variable. So for example, usually I would have a, a column for my X variable and a column for my Y variable. Now the X variable, usually you're going to relate that to your, your bottom uh, axis, your, your horizontal axis, and your Y variable is related to your Y axis. And th this is kind of like analysis for looking at correlations between one variable to another. For example, maybe the planet is heating up. So if there's an increase in temperature, is there an increase in rainfall in one part of the uh, world? So you can do something like that for a scatter chart. Now you notice in this scatter chart we have labels here. And this is done on Excel 2013. And one of the nice features of Excel 2013 is now you can have you can add labels on there. So the labels would be the names of those variables instead of just the, the values, the XY values themselves. You can also add the XY values themselves, but now you can add the name of the variable uh, itself. In previous versions prior to 2013, you couldn't really do that natively. You had to probably uh, do it either manually or you would have to uh, use a VBA. So basically, now it's native within 2013 and you don't have to do any of that extra stuff. So I'll show you how to create this. And also another neat feature with uh, 2013, Excel 2013, is the ability to not only have uh, data labels, but they also have these uh, uh, data label callouts. So this is a little bit different. It looks like almost like uh, a dialog box that's, that's coming out uh, for that specific point. And you can mix and match it as uh, you can see here. So there's some additional features with the scatter charts that you can use in uh, Excel 2013. Now let me go ahead and show you how it's done. So here I've copied over the table from the previous worksheet and I'm just going to go ahead and just select anywhere inside that table and click on under the insert tab here. Go ahead and click on the uh, scatter command here. So once I click on that it gives you an option to choose either a scatter and you can see that you can do a preview and see what it looks like. We have our scatter with smooth lines and we also have this bubble chart. It, just, it used to be a separate selection in Excel prior to 2013 but now they put it under this scatter kind of category. But we're just going to use the scatter chart here. I'll go ahead and click that and you notice right away that it looks kind of different. It looks kind of wrong and what happened is they basically, Excel really hasn't gotten that smart enough yet to um, figure out well with my X and Y it should just be one point. It should go uh, whatever value to the X and go up to the Y. So what we can do here is we can just change it. Once we have our scatter chart here I'm going to go ahead and go under select data and I'm just going to remove the y-axis. You can remove either one, but I'm just going to remove the y-axis here and I'm going to work on the x-axis. So I select that, go under edit, and for the series name, you can just give it any arbitrary name. I'm going to just go ahead and maybe just select, um, I'll just select here. i just go name. And that, that's going to give us the series name and it'll also put in the title, I think. But uh, what we're concerned about is the x and y values. So I'm going to go ahead and select my x values, which is uh, this set of values under the column here. I'll go ahead and click that and also for the my for the y values I'm going to go ahead and select uh, this range of data. So once that's done, whoops, I probably have too much data in there. So I'm going to delete that and just go ahead and click on that and select my y values there and then press enter and now you see that it's drawn it uh, well. Now you've seen that it's drawn it correctly. So like for example here if I hover over this point, this is uh, uh, point number two, it's 233. So basically uh, you can see that uh, it, the series name, uh, point two, 233. Uh, and it's given that point two because it's taking it off the, the value of the name for uh, the X. So what we want to do is we want to have labels here. And so initially you could probably select here and right click and add, add a data label, right? So if we add data labels here, you can see here that it's added the Y value. And if we didn't want that, we can just go ahead and select data label. And now you can see that there's boxes all around the data labels. And go into right click and then go ahead and do format uh, data labels. And now we have the label option. So, 
So right now it shows the y values. We can also add the x value here so it can show that first. But what if we, didn't, we didn't, really didn't want the x and y values? We wanted um, the value. We wanted to kind of a label uh, for it. And so hopefully we have a column here that has the label name. And what we need to do is we want to select value from cells. And once that is selected, it's going to ask you where is our data label range. And basically what we want to do is we want to uh, select that range there and click OK. And now that range is included in here. And we probably don't need the X and Y values. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, untick that and untick that. So show leader lines here. What happens with show leader lines here is if you move this kind of far away from it, it's going to show a little line that um, connects to that dot. So let me go ahead and um, kind of click outside here and go and select one of them. Let me select uh, item 10 here and kind of move it out a little bit. And now you notice that there's a little line there. So it's kind of nice if you've got a lot of points here and you're kind of moving things around and you want to kind of spread them far apart, these leader lines will show which particular label is connected to what dot. So as I mentioned before, uh, this availability to have a, uh, a label name was not there prior to Excel 2013. You basically had to use VBA to add the names to there. Um, you, you previously, you can only add the values, the X or Y values there. Now with this nice option, you can have the names. Now there's the other option where you can add the callout. And so let me go ahead and add the callout. I'll go ahead and just kind of remove these labels now for now. I'm going to select that, press delete. And let me add a callout. So if I add this one, so if I click on the data points, you can see they're all selected. Right click and go to add data labels and add the data callouts. You'll see now every one of them has a box. You can pretty much do the same thing with the data labels as you do with the callouts. You select the callouts and if you wanted to go under the options, you can do, whoops, let me go ahead and, whoops, let me go in data options. We want to go into label options. We can have the values from the cell and do the same thing that we did previously and we want to have the names instead of the values and so it will put the names in there and let's say we just remove the X and Y values. And we don't really need to show leader lines because these are callout boxes now. It's, it's kind of nice that they're available. If I select that one, I can move that up and the line goes to that one. And so you can also mix and match. As you seen earlier, I had a, a mixture of the data labels and the callouts. So what you can do is we can mix them up. So I can select one of my values here and they're also like to right click and go under add data labels and maybe I just want data labels for all of them. But for one of them, I want to have a callout. So let, let, let's, let's just pick on item 10 here. I'll go and select that one, press delete. And that gets rid of that one and select it again and just select it again. So I just select that one, right click and add data label and this will be a callout. And so basically, I've had to have a callout for this one. Whoops, let me go and select this again and just kind of hover it, well, move it over there. And the rest of them have uh, data labels. So I can go ahead and just uh, select them and if I just wanted the name, let me go ahead and click value from cells and I'll just select this and that range, click OK and let's not have our Y values. And basically I've got my callouts. And so if I, do, if I wanted to do further formatting, uh, maybe I just want to clean this up, let me remove the legend here, let me click that, remove the legend and then get rid of these uh, grid lines, Press select that, press delete and select the um, vertical grid lines here, press delete. And now it looks a little bit cleaner. If I wanted to add some formatting that I that had earlier, I can go under design and maybe select one of these. I think I like this one. Yeah, that one I can select. And now we have a little bit of a more fancy type of scatter. But the, the big plus in Excel 2013 is the ability to natively add the labels in here uh, where it didn't have it before. Oh, this one has the uh, this one has the X value. So let me go ahead and click that and get rid of that. Get rid of that. And so now you see we have our labels. We have the labels that we don't have to use any VBA to add in there. We don't have to insert a text box and do anything else. It's part of the um, feature. It's part of the command set here. And so uh, in addition, we have these callouts now. So that's new in Excel 2013. So it adds a lot of uh, pizzazz, adds a lot of feature capability to the scatter, which it didn't have there before in Excel 2010 and previous. So that's the way that you can create a scatter or an XY chart in Excel 2013. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.